Well, I really can't stand it. Since I finished the installation on the fish finder yesterday on my Outback, I gotta go put it in the water. So I'm gonna go down to one of my local city lakes. No fishing, no nothing. I'm just gonna go test my system and push a bunch of buttons on that fish finder, see if I can start figuring out how it works. I did run into a little bit of a snafu. I had to update the software on it. I had to actually call customer service. Well, not call them, but I got on a chat line with them. They weren't very helpful, and because I have a superior brain, I was able to figure it out on myself, by myself. So I will post a video on that probably next week for anybody that uh, may run into the same problem. But for now, let's just go relax, have a little fun, and test out that fish finder. Well, the adventure van does not have AC, so the temperature inside the van is, oh, I don't know. Check it out, that's the dam for the lake. Water on the other side. How would you like to cut that with a push lawnmower? Well, it appears that no one's here right now and I have the lake to myself. That's great. So what you're seeing right there, there's my side scan. That's the first time I've turned it on. And I'll be honest, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with it yet. So let's view some other screens. says I'm in 34 feet of water right now, which kind of surprises me that it's that deep right here. All right, let's, uh, let's go do some exploring. There's a nice shot of a drop off, 28 feet of water, and the temperature is 87.2. And I will say this, that screen is really easy to see. I'm out here in some bright sunshine, and I can see that with no trouble at all. Right there's my side scan. And I have the bank right there beside me on the right side. So I'm coming up on a cove. I want to see what the side scan does what it looks like when I come up on this cutout cove, which is right here. So I'm coming into the cove. Let's 
So there's the cove right there. Let me get 90 degrees to it. Honestly, I don't yet know what I'm looking at as far as the side scan and stuff goes. So it's all going to be a learning process. All right, here's what my setup looks like in the water. And it does create a little bit of turbulence as I pedal. So you can see that the way I have it set up. Well, look at that. I have no idea what that is. I guess it's some sort of a stump or a bush, but I definitely marked it as a waypoint so I can fish it later. The last time I was here, I fished this area where I'm at right now, just off of a point, and caught several fish. Didn't really know why. I figured there was something out here, but now I think I know why I was catching fish at this particular spot. I'll tell you one thing, it is really nice being on a lake like this by yourself. I can hear some distant lawnmowers, but that's about it. So right now I'm just doing some zigzagging across the lake, looking for spots, holes, brush piles, stumps, anything I can see and mark a waypoint on it. See what happens. Maybe I can find me some spots that I can go straight to next time I come out here instead of searching. Check out those crocs getting the job done. Oh yeah. I have two favorite pair of boat shoes, these crocs, and I also have some NRS water shoes. And I actually have videos on both of these, so if you're looking for a great boat shoe, water shoe, definitely want to check out these crocs. And these are not the goofy kind. Right here I'm on side scan and I'm coming up to a dock right there and it's a floating dock so I don't know if it's going to really show but let me just cruise parallel to it and see what it looks like on the side scan. Alright, it should start to come up here any second. Something should show all right well apparently it's not going to show very well because it is a floating dock and there's nothing under it okay there was a little indention there i think that was it yeah that was it that little indention that you see that was the floating dock check it out isn't that beautiful I'm on top of another spot I would definitely fish. I've got it marked on it as a waypoint. Since I'm in the shade, let me show you in case I needed to raise this transducer. So I simply just unloosen that just a little bit. Reach down. Hold it up. Give this a tighten. And now the entire transducer is easily out of the water. The way I originally configured it, I was going to put it up here somewhere, but I certainly wouldn't have been able to reach it. So this is where I had to drop back and punt. I like it in this position right beside me. The adventure van awaits my arrival. So that's it for today. I'm pretty happy with the way this Helix 7 has performed and I found some spots on the lake to fish now that I would have never known. So this is going to be a great new addition to the kayak and it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve to uh, understand all this with the side imaging and all of that. So I guess I will shut this video down and uh, I'll see all of you in the next one. All right. The weekend is upon us, okay? So all of y'all have a great weekend, and I'll see you later.